Hello, my name is Kirill from Dabak USA. In this video, we are going to see how to repair an ant miner. So in this case, if you have an ant miner that you're moving it around and then you have a loose heatsink inside, I'm going to teach you how to fix it. So in this case, you see it will not spin. So that is the first thing that calls your attention. Also, you make sure that you have to move it around. So as you can see, we have the, the heatsink is, is unglued. So that way we're, we are going to take a, take up uh, apart the, the unit and we are going to remove these screws that we see over here and then we are going to remove it. So right now I'm going to change the camera so that way I'm going to show you, very easy. So first of all, we're going to remove the screws. Also re remember that when you re remove the, the screws, you're going to void the, the warranty if it has some. Cool, as you can see, we just remove it. So I'm going to show you the other camera. So that is how it works. And here is the the loose the loose unit that we had the loose hits hit thing. So we have to put this uh, thing in one side. Also remember before keep working with this unit uh, and everything else, try to use a few gloves like I showed you before in my other videos about the statics so if you didn't see them remember to visit them about how to become a computer technician this is very basic otherwise you may burn the the unit if something goes wrong if you have some static so in this case i have the the gloves so we are going to unplug the fence just in case in this case in this case i don't see anything else that is damaged so I hear some noise, but I don't see any other one. We will remove all the, the boards in this case. In order to do that, we are going to unplug the cables. Remember that here you have a small locking mechanism that you have to press in order to remove them. Once you do that, if you want to also you can remove the control board so that way we're going to have things out of the way and that's it. So as you can see, in case if you have to replace one of these, you have to make sure we're going to make another video just about this, but this is the replacement that you have to get. Okay. Now we are going to remove one at a time. So as you can see, I'm going to remove this. We're going to leave it here. It seems like there is another piece that is loose. Loosen, so yeah, there are many. As you can see here, we have three uh, heatsink that we have to glue back. So we are going to zoom out so that way you can see a little bit better and I can see a little bit better too. So this, this card is, is good. Now, as you can see on the bottom, we have the, the other ones. So here we have them. We're going to put these cards aside. As you can see here, we have the other card. Seems to be fine. This one is very difficult to remove because for some reason this car is out of the, the rail that you see over there. So even if I pull it from here, it will not uh, fall, it will not be released. So in this case, we are going to remove the other screws. So that, that way we are going to fix it. There you go. So you can see is out of the rail. I'll try to zoom in so as you can see it's out of the rail so that is why it's difficult to remove the card. So we will have to 
try to put it back. It seems like it's a little bit warped here in the middle. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to remove the, the cord. There you go. As you can see, I just put it in the rail again, and now it was easy to remove. So now we are going to inspect this car, and everything seems to be fine. Okay, now we are going to put this in one side, and we are going to work with the unit that has the Anglu heatsink. I'm going to zoom in so that way you can see it a little bit better. Okay, now we are going to start with this one. So this one, what we are going to do is just use some Q-tip in order to clean the area. Okay, now we are going to clean the area. We're going to use isopropylic alcohol, as you can see. Now we are going to do the same thing here. Okay, now we're going to clean this. So sometimes it will come with the glue that is very strong. So if with the alcohol and the Q-tip, it doesn't work. You're going to use this Dremel, this tool. So with this tip, with the bristles, you're going to be able to clean everything. So I'm going to change the camera so that way you can see what I'm saying. So as you can see, here is the heat sink and we're going to, to clean it. So we're going to use Remember goggles all the time to protect your eyes. Now we are going to use this tool. Okay, I, as you can see, everything looks very shiny. So the main thing why I'm using this, I'm not using maybe uh, something else to wear the, the glue and everything else is because it has to be very um, level so if if you if you wear it like unevenly or something like that it will not uh, have a very good contact with the chip and it will overheat and it will die over time so that is why it's very important to use some kind of brushing as you can see uh, here so this is what i was using even if, if you see it here it doesn't seem like it's very good but uh, with the paste that we are going to to use it should solve the the surface at least this is what we, what we have otherwise you're going to get you will have to buy one of these the brand new one and then you use whatever you want and you will have to start cleaning the heat sink and doing all these things another thing that you can uh, do in order to clean the, um, the glue you can get one of these needle file set and that way you can start working on on this so remember you have to make sure that everything is 100% flat otherwise it will not uh, touch e uh, evenly and you will have some issues We're going to use the um, brush of the Dremel. Okay, as you can see, with the help of the Dremel, looks fine, so we can clean it up a little bit, and then we're going to glue it, and let's see how it works. So we're going to use some alcohol. We're going to use another Q-tip. Okay looks good enough so now we're going to put some of the paste and we're going to glue it back in order to do that we're going to use this uh, thermal adhesive arctic uh, aluminum so this one worked great I, I used it before in another product like a roland v1 hd is one of the products is video switcher that i use to make this kind of videos. So now we are going to use this special box. Uh, we are going to put a little bit here. 
remember that it will solidify very quickly once it is mixed. All right, now we're going to use our powerful screwdriver. Make sure that everything is mixed up very well. Otherwise, it will not glue. And that's it. So now, we're going to grab the cord. We're going to put a little bit over there. We're going to clean the edges a little bit. And then we are going to put it on top of it. Just let it sit for a few hours. Uh, we should be ready to go. Now we are going to do the same thing in the, in the other places, as you can see here. But before that, we're going to work on the unit. Okay, now we are going to clean it up a little bit more. And it's pretty flat, pretty flat, even if you see a little bit of some dents. The, the chip is, is narrow, so you, it will fit just in the middle, it will be okay. Even the, the, past, the paste will do the, the rest. Okay, as you can see, I just install the, the other ones, so now everything looks fine. We have to wait a few hours until everything is dry. Uh, we should be able to grab one of these. Um, it, should, it should work fine. Okay, I left the unit drying. Okay, great. So now after half an hour, so we left everything drying, so everything should be good. And uh, now I'm going to show you how I'm going to pull the heatsink, so that way you will see that it will not uh, fail, so it will not fall. So now I'm going to show you, we are going to change. So here I have the, the one that we were uh, working on. So as you can see here, we're going to grab it with the... Ah, it's, it's a shame that the cam I was uh, hiding the, the camera. I, I was blocking the camera. So it's a shame that I was blocking the camera. But as you can see, it's not fading. So the same thing here in this side that I was working with, with these units. So I grab this, grab that, I grab the other one, and that's it. So everything is very well glued so everything should work just fine again so now what we are going to do is we grab everything again back again uh, we are going to put all these cars back together and the unit should work just fine so now we're going to zoom out the, the only bad thing is as you can see i have a lot of bristles everywhere uh, you have to clean you have to make sure that uh, no none of those bristles will stick on the on the electronics and um, other than that, that that's it so i'm going to show you how to put it all back together and um, we are almost there so now it should be better than before because now all every car will fit as it should and everything should be on the rail so i'm going to put this here there we go so as you can see, you have the, the rail here, 
and the rail in this side so everything should fit uh, over there so i'm going to change the camera once again so that way you're going to be able to see it so here i have it okay nice now we're going to grab one of these cars once again you see the the rail here so you have to fit perfectly fine There you go. Right, we're going to grab it like that. There you go. Wonderful. nice and tight so now let's grab the the board we're going to pull this out a little bit here as well it should fit in the rail there you go I'm going to grab it so that way you should see the lights, the button, and everything else. And doing great. So now we have to install the, the fan. Okay. Now we have to do the same thing in the other side. Other thing, the other thing. All right, now we just connect the fans once again, and we should try to connect the unit, and everything should work just fine. Okay, the repair was successful, so I'm happy about that. So now, of course, if I turn on the machine here, it's going to be very noisy and you will barely hear me. So now I connect the, the computer elsewhere. So I'm going to show you how to test it and see how it works. So now that we have this uh, new computer uh, or antiminer, so I'll show you my other IP. So as you can see, this is the IP that I have in this case is 10.0.1.7 so that is the IP I have to change the name change the IP of course and everything else so I have another video if you if you want to know how to set it up so now what we are going to do is I'm going to open the Firefox and then I'm going to type the IP and you will see it okay now I'm bringing the browser so we are going to type 10.0.1.7 it will request for the user and password so in this case it's a brand new unit root root if you don't know how to set it up you can see my other videos so I'll show you so as you can see here we have the the unit we're going to click okay save the password for now so now we're going to status as you can see the the unit has been mining for 38 minutes and working great um, you see the temperature 63 60 61 59 so everything should be working just fine so as you can see we have here the the hashing rate is 502 uh, so it's about is about normal so everything should be fine so later on i'm going to set it, set up this unit so that way uh, you're, you're going to learn so if you want to learn how to do 
Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you want me to fix your antliner for you, just send it to me. Also, all my phone number and everything is on the video description. Also, if you want to see the next class, so we are going to start fixing this power supply, the ant miner, so that will be for another video. So, as usual, click and like, leave me your comment, and subscribe to the channel. So, click on the little bell, so every time I upload the video, YouTube will let you know. If you want to see my other videos about computers or ant miners and other things, go to the playlist, so that way you can see my other classes. See you next time. Bye.